Well mentioned just moments ago, donating blood is more important now than ever before. And because of the coronavirus, fewer people are actually donating, but the need has not gone away. So I talked to Nicole Syrak Irwin from the American Red Cross about how you can help and how your donation just might end up helping you. I know it's always important for people to donate blood, but why in particular is it important now? Well, there is some shortages that we're having because of COVID. We can't have all of those blood drives that we usually have at schools and churches. And so we have a real need for blood drive hosts that would be able to open up their business or their entity for us to come in and set up a blood drive. Okay. And so what are you doing too in regards to COVID to keeping donors safe? A lot of things. Um, so everybody will be six feet apart. Uh, we don't have anybody in the waiting room. So that's why we ask everybody to make appointments. Uh, we'll, everybody will be masked um, and we have really rigorous uh, sanitation and cleaning that we're doing. So a lot of safety measures. We've always been uh, doing some of those, but the social distancing is, uh, is sort of new for us. And you know, I know that donating really helps those around us in the community, but also there's a benefit for the donor in the way of COVID-19 antibody testing. So give us some more information about that. Yeah, so starting in April, we started testing. If you give blood, you will find out in about seven to 10 days if you have the antibody. And one of the reasons we're doing that is if you do have the antibody, that means that you are eligible to donate what we call convalescent plasma. And this is a trial that we are doing with people who are very, very sick with uh, the COVID-19 virus. Uh, convalescent plasma is showing it can help in some of those cases. And so we'll, we'll be able to know if you're eligible to do that. Wow, okay, so anyone who donates right now, not only are you helping in the typical way that people expect when you donate blood, but you're also helping in the fight against COVID-19, which is huge. We are, yeah. You know, and we're sharing some of that information, um, always confidentially, but with Central District Health and others, so we can kind of see where the spread is as well. So lots of ways that it helps. That's wonderful to hear. Okay, so people watching want to participate, they would like to donate, what do they do? So they can call 1-800-RED-CROSS, they can go on our website. There's a great blood drive app that uh, they can download. And I wanna talk a little bit too about it's National Childhood Cancer Month. And a lot of people don't realize how many transfusions are needed for children having cancer and adults. And so there's an opportunity, you know, sometimes when we get that diagnosis with a loved one, we don't know what to do. And organizing some blood drives and some platelet donations can help. And then also um, African-Americans have a rare blood type and they have a lot of need for sickle cell anemia transfusions. And we do have a shortage. Uh, of those blood types. So those are some critical needs we have right now. Okay, great. So not only donating, but you'd mentioned organizing those opportunities for people to donate mm -hmm. too, right? Yeah, it's a great way, you know, when you get a diagnosis with someone you love, we often will set up food trees and come in over and help them clean their house. And I mean, those we've all been a part of that, but some folks are actually saying, you know what, we can go and donate blood. And it's not directed to that particular patient, but it's just something when you feel helpless that uh, might help raise some spirits.